is going to be challenge five. Now, the idea in challenge five is that um, we're going to have to take our little scratch cat through a maze. And if it touches the wall of the maze, it loses the game. And if it gets to the end, we can put another sprite. And, um, it, you know, once those two sprites touch, it can be declared a winner. Now, let me show you how to create a maze. Um, so we're just going to go into the backdrop and we're going to click on paint new backdrop and you just click on the bucket and pick a color like you know maybe we'll paint it dark red bam done then you take um, a white and maybe you, you take almost the maximum line width and with a brush maybe we'll go maximum you paint a sort of maze path yeah. Yep, that's our little maze. So in order to get the scratch cat to run the maze, you're going to need to shrink it. So you click on that and then click on the scratch cat. And to get it to move through the maze, you just click on the scratch cat and we can inside the scripts, we can go forever in the control move and you know, you can get it to move really slowly forever move two steps. And we could always point towards the mouse. And once we click on this forever, our scratch cat is forever following the mouse. As you can see, the idea is we want to get it through the maze without touching the red. Of course, nothing happens when we touch the red, but we can activate it. And to do this, um, let me also help you out by putting the green flag here. Now, to, to make this activation happen, you're going to use an if function and you're going to put it inside the forever loop and you can say aha if you know if sprite one is touching so if touching uh if touching color red actually would be perfect and it looks like that red then now then you can get him to say whoops So if we click the green flag, he's going to go and we're going to get him to crash into the red wall. And let's see if he'll say whoops. No. And maybe because that wasn't that kind of red. Oh, he is saying whoops now. Okay. <laughs> so everything seems fine. I don't know why it can... Yep. Yeah. Everything seems to be working well. There you go. So those are the foundations of the maze. What I want you guys to do in this challenge is I want you to add a second sprite that you're going to have here. And every time the cat touches the other sprite, then that could be a message that says, yay, I win. Um, you can also experiment, and this is fairly difficult, but you can make a variable here, and you can call that variable score. And you can increase the score by one when your target is touched. And you can decrease the score by one maybe if the red color is touched. But it's just the foundation here. Um, your job is to create your own maze, to um, create a target, and... Um, you know, uh, make the game more playable, more competitive than it really is at the moment. Off you go. Hope you have fun.